Hey go through community. In this video, I am excited to walk you through our brand new backend. I know learning a new UI can be a bit challenging, so I'll guide you through where everything has been moved. The new backend is modern, cleaner, and faster. Let's dive in. The biggest change is the menu. Previously, all the buttons were at the top, but now they've been moved to the left side allowing us to display more menu entries that were hidden before. The most used section, My Tours, can always be accessed from under the main menu or by pressing the T key on your keyboard. In My Tours, we display the images in a grid view by default, allowing us to see more tours. But if you prefer the old list view, you can switch back to that layout, which has more space. If you enjoy working in the evenings or prefer a sleeker look for your interface, you can now switch to dark mode. This feature helps reduce eye strain, making it more comfortable to focus on your work. We understand that not everyone speaks English, so the go-through backend is now available in 16 different languages, with more on the way. Let's take a look at how go-through works in Portuguese. Now, let's switch back to English and continue exploring the new features. Our backend is now mobile-friendly, making everything easier to do right from your phone. Upload a few images, check your tour's status, or copy a virtual tour link. This upgrade ensures the backend delivers a seamless and intuitive experience on mobile. All the features you rely on from the website are now easily accessible on your mobile device, giving you the same power and ease whether you're on a desktop or your phone. Tour details are now easier to access. You can rename tours, copy the CID directly here. We've also added more information for each tour. Now, you can view details like tour type, last saved date, and usage, making tour management more informative. All tour editing tools are now moved to the top and redesigned with intuitive icons, giving the interface a cleaner look and making it easier to find the tools you need at a glance. The Upload 360 image page hasn't changed much. It's simply been modernized for a cleaner, more user-friendly look. The Edit Images section remains mostly the same, with tools reorganized for better efficiency. Now, when you click on a sequence, 360 image info appears, and other tools are neatly grouped here for easier access. The 360 image connector is the new name for the moderator, now enhanced with AI to help you seamlessly connect nearby images. Check out our video dedicated to the go-through AI moderator for more details. The Virtual Tour Manager now features a fresh, updated look while maintaining the same core functionality you're familiar with. One notable update is the Embed Code section, which now lets you customize the link with all the supported URL parameters. We've renamed the Google button to Publish to Street View to better reflect what you can do from this section. The publishing page itself hasn't changed much and still offers the same reliable tracking for publishing your images to Street View. The backend changes that we've implemented make the platform faster and more streamlined, all while keeping the tools you're familiar with intact. The focus is on giving you a smoother, more efficient experience. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this update, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop. Give the new backend a try and share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.